Oh, hi, Nia. Hi, everybody. Hello, guys. Welcome in, welcome in, welcome in. Hello, happy Wednesday, you guys. Happy hump day. Yada. <laughs> welcome, welcome. I don't know why I'm clapping. I guess I'm just... Happy you guys are here. So I'm clapping. Congratulations! Wow! Good job! Uh, yeah, I'm here. Hi, guys. Welcome in. This is your dream weave inspired mama, Ami Aranya, and I just drank the... Well, no, there's a tiny bit left. Mm. Mm. I, I, I just... Just, 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 just... Drank the last bit of my... <clears throat> my pumpkin spice latte with an extra... The extra, not extra, extra shot of espresso, and it's, it it was delicious. But now I just have water. Mm. Water's good too, though. Yeah. Uh, let's see here. <clears throat> uh, comfy stream today. I'm already. I can already feel myself like. Uh, <laughs> you know. I'm, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like dripping, I'm draining energy, you know? It's like slowly going for the week, but I'm gonna tough it out. I got this. I hope you guys are having a good week so far. We're halfway through, which is nice. Sinking into the cozy vibe, yeah. I don't got much going on in my, uh, in my brain right at this very second, but, uh, that's okay, because I'm just gonna draw and we're gonna have a fun time chatting a little bit. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm excited to do... To, 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 to draw with you guys today. You bought two cans of pumpkin puree and made pumpkin pancakes? Oh, I don't know if I've had pumpkin pancakes. That sounds amazing. Pumpkin spice is a terrifying reminder of the frozen hellscape soon to come. Yeah, at least there's tasty drinks and tasty snacks, though. <laughs> it's going how? It's going... Well... I'm just, you know... I'm just like... You know, you guys. I'm just tired. I'm just tired, you know. Being sick takes it out of you. So I'm, I'm chilling. Uh, I mean, pre chat. It'll be quiet and comfy. I mean, when stream starts, I'm free basing coffee beans. What the heck does that mean? <laughs> yeah, I'm just a little zonked out. But welcome, you guys. Let me say hi to everyone. Um... <clears throat> Hello to Seek and Wilson and Peppermint and AX and Mephi and Conky and Gildrian and Turbo and Corolla Slime and Heart and uh, Electronic Pig and Mau 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 and Incisor and Shino and Matthew and Hello Sturm and Marv and Lurkers and Bomb Watchers. Hi guys! Hello K7 and Iron Stag and Planum and DJ. Hello to FC and Scuff and Hero. And hello to Tyree and Sumptuous Potato and Goldheart Dragon and uh, Big Guy. Hello Akatsuki and Hinge and Cat Bus and Nichi Man. And hello to Temporal Paradox and Mostly Safe and Riding Soul and Indecisive and Pudstorm and Noah and Wave File and Golden Slaughter and Ohamiya to Railgun. Only my Railgun can't really masuku. Uh, Ohamia to... Ugh, hot in here. To, uh, Lazim and Mauricio as well. And Justin and Movict and JD Assassin. And Leah Meyer and Yona and Sora. And Mr. Front and Kyoko and Koshi. And Smoker Mega Drive and Lole. And hello to Finite Set and... Uh, um, uh, uh, Yuko. Hello, Phoenix and Talon and Hussar and No Fun Zone. And Yanuko and uh, Super Condor and Rapture Queen. Hello, Smashes and Riley and Blau. And hello to Pitako and Uncle Red and Megu. Hello, Phenology and Esperiz. And Gento and Eldorado and Zabalisk. Oh, I'm here to Neo Blackguard and Peace Out and Remuz. Uh, hello to Optimal and uh, Adrian. Hello, Sweet Wubble. Uh, Ohamia to Chaos Muffins and Logi Ross and Shadow. And hello to. Um, 
Hiders and Tetera and Flash Tyrene and uh, Maxter and Mistake and Ananda and Synap and Brielle and Kuro Pantsu. Kuro, I'll call you, okay? <laughs> uh, hello, um, Bike and Cloud Sheen and Red Ranger. Welcome, you guys. Welcome in. So, yeah. Uh, uh, I'm feeling all right today. I'm, I'm feeling, you know, better, but... Uh, still, still pretty. Shueyamo. Hi, John Zero! Why not? P because that's a dirty word. I'm at 8,999 8, followers on Twitter. Wait, really? Oh. That's pretty cool. <laughs> that's pretty cool. You know what? I always seem to reach these milestones, like, in close proximity to one another. Because I'm also almost at 18k on YouTube, and that's pretty special, too. Like, I'm very, very close, actually. Uh, Kanti, hello! I'm like... I'm like 10... ...away. Yeah, I'm, I'm 11 away. For... for, um... For, um... <laughs> to get to 18k, uh, which I, you know, my my goal was kind of to to re try and reach 20k before my uh, two year anniversary, but I don't really know how that works. You know, I don't know how it works how to like, you know, bo boost that up. So I don't know if that's gonna happen. I don't know how to do that. Hi, Junana and Batsu. Uh, but we'll see what happens, you know. I'll keep, I'll keep doing my thing and, you know. Um... Um... Alright. Well... Let's get switched over and I will show you guys what I got going on here. Meow. Here we go. So this is called... Uh... She Painter is the name of the application. Uh, but as far as being able to try and use it, you need to go to like an Oekaki website and they might have this applet. Uh, or they might have like some different ones. There are a couple different ones, but this is the one that I always liked to use. Uh, hi, Passion Bot. So, uh, I will try and uh, explain you guys exactly how it works. <laughs> Sabathons seem to be a thing the kids are all doing. Uh, I mean, it's not that big of a deal if I don't get to 20k, you know? It's just like a... You know... It was just like a... I don't even know. I just set random milestones for like... For no reason, really. But I already stream like all the time, so... <laughs> that would be kind of hard for me to do. So usually... So there's two layers only on this one. Uh... There's a background and a foreground. So usually I will do... I will choose like this blue color and then do like a little sketch on the background. Oh, why is it so crunchy? Are they? Is my tablet doing something funky? Are they? Hold on. Oh, it's because I had it scaled too high. It's because I had it zoomed in too... Wait, no? What the heck? Why is this happening? Maybe it's because I'm moving the thing too fast? Because when I do it in short strokes, it's kind of... Kind of normal. Hi, Papita and Shugo! It's kind of normal, so... Uh, but yeah, usually I would like make a sketch on this kind of background layer. Right, so let's pretend... Let's just pretend I'm drawing, like, you know, a buckle here. Right? The two buckle eyes... And the blushy... Blushy blush And then the buckle legs... Right? And then I can switch to the foreground layer. And I can take, you know, the black pen... And I can go over the outline. Why is it blushing? Cause, cause buckles are always blushing, kind of like me. And we can make an equally as scuffed uh, illustration, right? And then we can go to the background, and I can uh, go to rectangle, and oh, and just get rid of it all. And then <clears throat> now the background, instead of being a sketch layer, is like a um. 
you know, a layer that I can put color on. So there is like this little watercolor kind of situation that can be used. That's not a buckle color though. This is a buckle color. So yeah, there's this little like watercolor kind of situation that you can use. Uh, there's also just the solid color. The reason I really like this one, and the reason I really even got reminded of this uh, application in the first place is because you can click on halftone here. And if you change the alpha, it will do kind of a dithering effect. So if I want to add shading, I can go in here and do that, and then change the alpha, and then do this, and then change the alpha again, and then... This and then change it again. And do this <laughs> and then change it again and get less and less and less. You know, this is like an extreme amount of like dithering, but you know, just to show you, you can you can do it. It is it is possible to do like a lot. So that's why I like this one specifically. Um, so... That's why I wanted to use this application. So my brain is so fuzzy today, you guys. I'm really sorry that I'm not... I feel like I'm not talking in a, a, a normal way. <laughs> I apologize. Oh, uh, can I erase it, please? Oh, and there's all these different, like... Uh, layer style kind of thing. That's interesting too. Um, so yeah, you can do all kinds of stuff. I feel like I just messed up by putting white on the... I did, I did mess up. Ah! <laughs> Whatever, we'll just undo everything. I think you can undo like a lot. Maybe not. Maybe not, but that's okay. You can do a white rectangle and you can go spam, and now that should fix it, right? Yeah, now my, my top layer is all clear. So what I thought I might want to do for a drawing is... Oh, and how it works is once you're done, you, uh, you click send and it will post it to the... Whatever, um... Whatever bulletin board system site you're using, um... You can just Google like Oekaki board if you guys want to try, and you should be able to find one. Uh, but it will post it to whatever site, and then I think normally it has like a time lapse too, which is fun. Um, and there's these pa new palette tools on the side. Now, I did not have these tools when I uh, used this back in the day. I just had to do all the colors kind of manually, and I don't know what this gradation thing is either. Like. I don't know what any of this stuff is, but you can brighten them and darken them and invert and and all that stuff. So it's very interesting. Um, hi, Fake Crane. Amiya, Amiya, Amiya. Have you ever heard of the game Magic Pen Gel? The quest for color is it about gel pens. I haven't, but I would like. When looking for an app program to do this, what was more important, layers or more tool options? I mean. I liked having the two layers. There are some where you can do like as many layers as you want. Um, but I really like this one for the half tone uh, option. So I think for me... I think for me it's it's more so tools, yeah. Um, you so cute in her glasses and beret. There's one of you guys who really loves the glasses and beret. Because I remember... Um, <laughs> I remember... Uh, one time I forgot to wear the beret. And uh, someone sent me a marshmallow. It was like, Ami, um, can you please, please wear the beret? Or no, I forgot to wear the glasses. And someone goes, can you please wear the glasses next time? <laughs> yeah, I got a moral. <laughs> I was like, oops, sorry. Oh, I think you can do like, uh, maybe... Shapes too? Huh, maybe not. There is a like a bit Bezier tool. You guys like it? <laughs> I'm a little like freaking out right now because the pen is doing weird stuff. But 
I'll do my best. So I wanted to draw a picture. I'm gonna attempt. I'm not very good at foreshortening, so I don't know if I'll do a good job. But I wanted to draw a picture of me, like, reaching out to give a hug, you know? Because... Everyone could use a hug sometimes. You know? You think I would like it? What is it? What is it on? Not a fake crate. Everyone could use a hug sometimes, right? So I'm just gonna... Try to sketch that. I'm not good at foreshortening or anything like that. Uh, any, any artists... Buckles who are watching right now can probably, you know, attest to the fact that it's like... Kinda difficult. Uh... Oops. It's for PS2. Okay. Uh... How do you draw with a PS2? That's my question. So, yeah. It, it, foreshortening, by the way, if you didn't know, is like... Having something that's like kind of in the foreground and something that's kind of like in the background. Also, uh, also, so like, uh... For example... Well, reaching out to give a hug. You know, doing the arm, that would be... Doing the hand, that would be foreshortening, you know? You have like a big hand, well, it's more like this. Wow, look at that hand! No, it's, it's more like, it's more like this. Watch me do like a perfect hand and then... Oh, the same way... You drew the graffiti in Jet Set Radio. It might be a little bit better than Jet Set Radio. Oh, it could be mouse because it, it has USB ports, yeah. Like if an arm is pointing at you instead of to the side. Yeah, exactly. So yeah, something like this, you know. Where it's like, oh, this hand is like closer to you. But the question is how to attach that, you know, to, to, to everything behind it, so... I'm gonna try and do, uh, yeah, uh, like a guideline. Hi, Aki, I shook the house. I prefer four elongating. It's the cutest four in the biz. Why is elongating? Why are you elongating? <laughs> four shortening is hard, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm not a fan of doing it. I mean, I like the way it looks. So I, I haven't done it that often. Cliff, uh, hands were your mortal enemy when you were attempting to learn to draw. Yeah, I've only kind of just gotten okay at them. You think you'll do a block bench art stream at some point? Yeah, I think so. I need to learn it though. Hi, Kyle. Simple keeping proportions on a human figure while displaying depth is hard. Like it's easy to do with rectangular buildings, progressively getting smaller, but arms and bodies. I'm not even good at doing buildings really. So, we'll see what happens. I might end up, like, scrapping this and going with something a little bit simpler. But we'll see. We'll be in and out today celebrating my sister's birthday and making her a sponge cake. That's so sweet. Happy birthday to your sister. Uh, okay. Uh... What am I doing? How do I draw? Some, you know, lately I haven't been drawing with, like, guidelines like this. So, I maybe shouldn't even be doing that now. But... Because lately I've just been drawing on like... Microsoft Paint a lot. So I think I'm like... Out of my element when it comes to... To this type of stuff. At the moment. But we'll see. You know, I might not get something finished today, but... It'll be fun regardless to uh... <laughs> To do some different doodles and try some stuff out. Uh, your paint doodles are always cute. Thank you. I'm glad you guys like my yeah my scribbles. Let me hand you the buckle. Do you accept? No, I would never do that. The buckles are only for me. <laughs> yeah, I'm already like, huh? I'm already confused by what I'm drawing right now. Hello, Jamal! So I might... I might give up and, uh... Just do like a scribble and then try to extrapolate on that, you know? 
Cause I'm already like, huh? <laughs> I'm already ID. But somehow when I do things in um Hi GTF, it always impressed me how people could do on those boards. Me too. I was never like amazing at it personally. Um I don't like it. Let's see if we can do a classic uh, MS Paint style scribble and then extrapolate on that. <clears throat> Might be easier to figure out where you want the hands and doing the arms accordingly. Like inverse kinematics? I don't even know what kinematics is. But I, I understand what you're saying though. I will try that. Hi Macau and Gaiko. This is definitely a little bit more difficult than paint. I don't know why exactly. It just feels like kind of more slippery, I guess. Ding, ding, ding. Kinematics is just move your legs and feet and, and the feet go places. In inverse is solving the legs from the feet. Oh my god. I don't understand. <laughs> there's no stabilization. Well, I mean, there's not on Microsoft Paint either, so you know, it's something I'm used to. But there's also some kind of like additional glitch going on with this that I'm like confused about. So we'll see how far I can get. See, so this is what I do. I like focus on small details that don't matter, like the hair and stuff. <laughs> And then, and then I'm like, I have a body left, and I'm like, what do I do? <laughs> what do I do now? You know. But that's all right. We're gonna get something. We're gonna get something done. You know how I go, you're doing speed, always rest on the surface, and legs bend right. That's I K is used everywhere in modern games. Huh? <laughs> Hi, Ria and Runes. The trick is to draw the details before you even figure out a pose. Yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> Hi, Sunny. Uh, exactly. Just draw all the, you know, all this useless, pointless stuff that you know you can do first. What games do to handle uneven surfaces and stuff? What I said, knowing where the hands and feet are and bending the arms, legs dynamically, make it not look meowed up. Okay. Alright, I'll try. Okay, so let's put a hand... Uh, here. Maybe? And let's put a hand... Here. Now, there is a way on this to, like, move. I'll show you guys. You can move things... Like this. But you cannot... Embiggen things. Which is kind of like... Kind of like makes things a little bit difficult. You can anti-alias as well, which is pretty neat. There's like a box you can put around, and it will slowly like your, make your lines like fuzzy. I don't know if I'll use it though. I don't know if it's making it fuzzy in like a way that I appreciate. <laughs> uh, down. Okay. Hi, luminous and liquid cat. Um, IK also uses on 3D VTuber VR chat models to make them look right. I don't know anything about that either. I'm a 3D noob, you guys. So we got like the palms here. And then the thumb is gonna be here. I don't know if embiggen is a word, but I use it. <laughs> It's hard to draw stuff upside down. The other challenge with this is that you can't like rotate your canvas. So we might have to do it. Might look pretty derpy until I get into I get you know further into it. Just so you guys know. <laughs> embiggen isn't a word, but embiggenate is. I made it. I made the word. <laughs> This is all newfangled stuff. The bubblegum brain prefers retro. Well, you know, I just... I 
would love to know how to do 3D stuff, but... I try to learn Blender. Yeah, it's a bit, it's a bit much for my brain. Uh... The Ami 3D model would be hand animated vertex by vertex like a true retro 3D model. Probably not, though, to be honest, because I, I ain't gonna be the one making it. And Biggin isn't a real word? Apparently not. Hi, Tomo, and Psycho. I do have a reference, by the way, but it's not, like, extremely helpful to me. <laughs> Finger length, finger length. Okay, that's the tallest finger. God fingers. God fingers. Fingers are so hard. It's hard to draw a hand upside down. Why did I choose such a challenging pose? <laughs> I need to make it more more paint, MS Paint sketch. Like maybe my like canvas is too big. Also, <laughs> looking intensely at my hands. No, I'm just like. Not even. I can't even look at my hands at this angle. Stage all your drawings in winter so you can wear comfy mittens. I kind of like... I'm starting to like drawing hands though. Just not in a way... You know... Just not in like fancy ways. <laughs> you know what? I think I can just get rid of this. I think I can... I think I can do a flippy. I think that's something this lets me do. Hi, one of the storms. Merge those two middle fingers? I know, I'm like notorious for doing that. I don't know why. <laughs> Hi, Winter Howl. It just makes drawing hands so much easier for me. And yeah, I feel like it looks good. <laughs> I'm not gonna give you a flippy. I don't even know what that means. I mean, maybe I'll give you a flippy if it's like a nice thing. Hi, CDI Link. Poking pinky. Oh, uh oh. Okay. <laughs> That'll be more curvy, I guess. Yeah, I'll mind flip you guys. Don't you want that? You guys don't want me mind flipped? Now, can I actually... Oh, there is a shape. Oh. Oh, I can flip. Okay, this is awesome. Okay, so I'm gonna copy it. And I'm gonna go to... Flip horizontal. I keep skipping it. There we go. You always flip me. Mine flip me. I don't know if my buckle brain can take it. <laughs> you flip me right round, baby, right round. I'll flip ya. There we go. These might need to be further apart, I guess. Oh, uh, so I, I finally uh, put the um, Azimer waiting room up. And uh, we're gonna be reading uh, Japanese fairy tales tonight. So, God, this looks ridiculous. It's 
So hopefully I have something that's interesting to you guys. I still do want to do me no not ghost stories. It's not Halloween yet. I still do want to do like Winnie the Pooh, Azamar at some point, but that's gonna take a bit longer to read. So I need to make sure I like set more time aside. It won't be in Japanese though. It will be in English. <laughs> Reading in JP or translated? No, God. What? Oh. <laughs> no, no Japanese. Uh. It will be. It will be in English. People are already setting up Halloween decorations near you. It's all but kind of good. I like. I like. I like seeing that stuff. That's the one season that I don't mind really seeing stuff early. Okay, this kind of looks like something. I don't know. Foreshortening will always do magic to me, but I haven't really done it yet. I still don't know how I'm gonna connect. Do like the bottom of the arms. <laughs> You using the Charlotte's Web Bob for sleep the last two nights? Oh, I hope I hope this one it works for you too then. Of the ones on the thumbnail, the only one I think I heard is the Crane Maiden. Yeah, um I just put some random ones on the thumbnail. Uh I will probably read them though, because I like the idea of the spider one. The only ones that I know are the the maiden one and the uh the uh I know one called... What is it called? Casa Jizo? Something like that. Uh, and I know one called... Kachikachiyama. Uh... And... What else? I mean, I think that might be... Pretty much it. Um, but... I'm gonna just, you know, try a bunch of different stuff. I don't want to read Kachikachiyama because, I don't know, it makes me kind of sad because, like... It just makes me sad. They're animals hurting each other, you know? <laughs> They're like humanoid... Humanized animals, but still. You read it as crab maiden? No! <laughs> no, no, they're not furries. No, 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 no. But they're like, they can like talk and stuff. They're not furries. They're like, they're like, not even really anthropomorphized, but they're just like doing human things to one another. Like, uh, like evil things, you know? Like they're tricking each other. I should be more specific when I say they're doing human things to each other. <laughs> There's no crab maiden, it's, cr it's the... What is it? The crane... Crane... Crane maiden. I don't remember what it's called. It's called Tsuru no Ongaishi in, in Japanese. Uh. Okay, can I just kind of like, you know, shpoop, just like put that there and then shpoop, put that there and then kind of we're kind of good, right? <laughs> Something like that. No. How do I do this? There are a lot of variations in, of the story with a lot of different animals. It's not gonna be crab mating, you guys, because it's about... You guys, the story is about a crane that like uses... It, it, it like weaves fabric. It's not gonna be about a crab. Duh. Well, maybe we can like hide our sins with the clothing a little bit, right? <laughs> That's kind of what I'm thinking. Uh, 
spider mama give a hug? These hips are too wide. Hold on. <laughs> I'm, 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 I am. I am out of control. <laughs> I hear some orc. Are you leaving enough room for Jesus? What's that mean? No. <laughs> No, this is like a better size. It's more normal. Is this fake asking you for a hug? Yes, that's gonna be the vibes. This is this is more normal, okay. Alright, uh That looks kind of kind of sane, right? In terms of foreshortening. Doesn't look that bad, I feel like. I think it looks sane. <laughs> uh, maybe to make it look like it's not completely copy, maybe I can try and attempt to separate these two fingers. Nah. They look better attached together. <laughs> <clears throat> there was one where the minion was a sea creature, but it was very cursed what she did instead of so... I don't wanna know. <laughs> Hi, Karin. H and H is very big in the Buckle community. What is that? What the frick is that? I already got a ginormous head in this drawing. I don't need to make my hips match, you know? All hugs and hips. Oh, goodness. <laughs> you like the head proportions? Alright, I thought it was a little big, but... What's Triple H? Like the wrestler? That's a wrestler, right? Hugs, head pats, and hips. <laughs> oh, my god. Oh yeah, what about my forehead? Doesn't that fit in there somewhere? You guys love that, I thought. So what I can do now is... You think I'd be kind of like... You know, screwed, right? You think... You think... I'd be a little bit screwed here, right? Because... So now I got this sketch and it's not very polished. Uh, tough, but yeah, we can fit your forehead. Stop! You guys take so many... All the chances to make a big forehead joke. My head... My forehead is... Freakishly small and people have made fun of me for it, you know? So shush. <laughs> Nice, you guys, to try and make me feel better about my freakishly small forehead. <laughs> uh, I don't want to, like... Move all this business down. And then... Kind of lengthen the torso a little bit. So it's looking a little short. <clears throat> Move this up. Well, I might as well redraw it, huh? Did you just see it as big because buckles are so small? Yeah, that's it, that's it. Hi, Eretz, it means you have a big brain. It's not necessarily a good thing, though. I feel like you want like a normal size brain or else it's gonna cause you health problems. <laughs> now that the torso's longer, I have the I have the desire to make the hips bigger again, you know. It's a problem. 
Well, the hip curve should be like up higher, I think. Because otherwise it looks like I got tiny hips and big thighs. Which would be kind of weird. We want big hips and big thighs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, let's do some eyes. Hello, Vegito. Just like you know, very rough. I don't really know how to draw kind eyes, but I'm gonna do my best. Kinda be smizing on the bottom. I'm not great at drawing eyes in general. Kinda tough for me. Not exactly sure why. Some belly. I don't know how to draw that. <laughs> you always look kind. Aww. You love how you draw eyes? Well, thank you. I'm just like, it's very hard for me, you know. Hi, new metal samurai. Like at kind of like the wrong angle, or maybe they're at like different heights, is why I don't like it. Maybe, maybe that's better. I'll draw the nose after. <clears throat> I like when you do the first thing where it's black or white doodle or drawing, but then you color the eyes. It calls attention to them and makes them look prettier. I think so too. Sometimes I will do that if I have eyes I really, really like. But usually I don't want to draw attention to the eyes. So usually I... I don't. Because usually I'm like, ah, these eyes. Draw my adorable, uh, adorable cat mouth on this. Where do I want to draw attention? I guess just the whole thing, but I want to draw attention away from the eyes. <laughs> So now you're probably thinking, oh, she has this on another layer, and then the other layer she has to use for, uh, like, line art or whatever, right? So there's the only chance to refine this sketch is to use the line art layer. And I am here to tell you, no, 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 that's not the case. So here's what you can do with this, that's pretty cool. I can take the uh, white rectangle tool and I can bring the alpha down. And then I can go over this a couple times. And we're gonna slowly lighten this up. Until it's just barely visible. Kind of like that. And then, I'm just gonna take the same demo color. And I'm going to sharpen things up a bit. 
Why are you plucking? I'm fading away. <laughs> I'm just gonna try and polish it up a little bit. This sketch. It's still there. Can you guys not see it at all? I can see it still. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go over it. Is there a reason you don't have the back seating light on for art streams? I mean, it's not really been an issue. <laughs> just your brightness until the image is not at all visible. It's never really been an issue. I mean, people are usually nice to give advice, and if people are like ru rude about it, then I mean, they usually don't mean to be. So it's okay. People, uh, people are usually like you know uh, maybe a little bit rude about stuff I'm drawing. Usually they're just trying to be like funny, so I try not to take it too personally. Uh, hi, Prof. Is you? I just gave you a brain blast from the past. That's my job, baby. <laughs> That's all I do. So I'm using this, uh... It's called She Painter. Is what it's called. But there are a lot of different other Oekaki apps... That you can use. And some of them look very different to this one, so... Uh, I can also zoom in, which is nice. Which I think I'm gonna... Do a little bit, just to get some of these details down. Hello, Nikki Cherry! Thoughts on what outfit Ami is wearing for this one? I was thinking, like, a nice sweater dress or something, you know? Is the season after all? Also, it's easy to draw because <laughs> it's like kind of form fitting. I think I want to make this a different color so it's more obvious. Something cozy. Buckle killer sweater. <laughs> I mean, even if I drew that, you guys wouldn't see it because you can only tell it's anything from the back, right? Shoulders and open sides. Ah. <laughs> I'm shy. We can do a cold shoulder, but I. Sometime, but like not on stream, okay? Because that's just. I'll die. But maybe at some point. As a. As a. As a. As a. As a. <laughs> Hi, I see gold. Drawn's coming along good as a treat. 
as a reward, you know. All right, I'm gonna take. Uh. You can use Control Z to undo, by the way, which is really nice. Take this over here and then flip it and then place it because I think it'll be better if I do it that way. It'll look less derpy. There we go. <laughs> Learning. I've been drawing for a long time, but I'm really still learning. Two, three, seven, eight meow celebration sounds like a good reason to do this, alright? Yeah, why not? Is that the amount of meows we have now? Why do I even bother asking? Of course it is. Meow, 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 It's coming together really well. Thank you! Then the highlight would go like here. It's been pretty awesome watching it even better. Thank you guys. I yeah, I feel like within the last year or so I've been doing I've been doing real good. I'm real proud of myself. Oh my god, we hit it! Well, there you go. Perfect perfect reason to be drawing this drawing that I'm drawing right now. <laughs> what 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 do you know? Would you look at that? Sweater time. Wait, that's the sweater you meant. You guys don't want to hug. It. No. No. <laughs> I thought you just meant like we can we can draw this drawing that I'm drawing right now to celebrate. <laughs> that's what I thought you meant. I saw my myth. What sweater? I don't know. <laughs> I didn't agree with that. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Don't peer pressure me. You won't want me to draw a buckle killer sweater, but then I said I have to do that off stream. Because I'm too shy. And then they tricked me. But I'm still not gonna do it, you guys. You know. There's plenty of references of that online. No! <laughs> National Chick Omni Day. Yeah, that's not until April, you guys. Chill. <laughs> yum, yum, yum. <laughs> okay, this is looking really nice. I'm really liking this, this, uh, how this sketch is shaping up. about, uh, clothes, shall we? Uh... Maybe just a classic off-the-shoulder sweater. That's kind of my favorite. You know what I feel like it looks like, though? Right now, I feel like it looks like my head is kind of craning out a lot. 
muscle. I'm gonna try and move... Mm, move the shoulders up a little bit. So that kind of gives the image I'm kind of like leaning forward and I'm gonna try and fix the, the face shape. Yeah, this is a lot of progress kind of quick, isn't it? I'm liking it. Yeah, I think I like that better. I'm leaning in for a big hug! Very pretty eyes already, they look bright. Thank you! Uh, it looks so pretty, thank you. Kya! <laughs> on April 1st, we all change our name to... Buckle to act natural. And act natural! But you guys are all buckle. Oh, you mean you're gonna confuse me? <laughs> no, not that mm, mouth. But it's... Wait, why not? That's the kind of mouth I have. What's the caption for this drawing? It's... Come here... You... <laughs> I said hug! Hug! Hugu. By the way, you guys, I'm not like a... I'm not like a... An artist, so don't judge what you're seeing here too harshly, okay? Uh, hi, Mouse. If you're, you know, just coming in or whatever. Oh, I forgot I was gonna try and like hide my sins yeah. with the arms a little bit. Mm, I think that's too low. Uh. <laughs> You make a lot of art for a non-artist. No, you know, like, I'm not like, you know... I don't consider... I'm like a singer, right? I'm like a singer or like a gamer. I'm not like an artist. You know what I mean? That's not where I consider my area of expertise. Is all I'm trying to say. You're all three. Mm, just let me lower everyone's expectations. <laughs> That's very sweet of you guys to say, though. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, guys. We got a new buckle! Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. I didn't see. Uh, Marcelo, thank you so much for joining the membership. I appreciate you. Get some buckles going for Marcelo. You're underselling yourself? Yeah, because then, you know... Then if I do bad, then it's less of a, a shock to the system. <laughs> Sorry, I, I should not be down on myself like this. It's a bad habit. having a hard time with this. I think this is too curved. And... <clears throat> I think that's why it's bothering me. You know, I know it can be real, you know, like, uh... uh you know, when someone's like... When you think... When you consider someone to be good at something... And then... And then, uh... They're like, uh, oh, it's so... Uh, you know? Cause then it's like, well... If you're bad at that, then what am I? Chop liver. So I try not to do that, but I still do sometimes. Do my best. wanna, you know, uh, frustrate you guys with that kind of talk. Hi, Cloudy.
<clears throat> okay. I feel like I saw an art of you with off the shoulder sweater recently besides the one you drew. Are you sure it's besides the one I drew? Because I drew a couple. <laughs> I love off the shoulder sweaters. Shoulders. I think, I think, I think shoulders are like pretty and like collarbone. You know. Just one shoulder off, double sexy. <laughs> yeah, I know how does that work, great. Right? <laughs> That's why you gotta do the one shoulder off the shoulder T-shirt. <laughs> A deltoid appreciator? What's a deltoid? Maybe, probably. I'm like an everything appreciator. The swell of the shoulder. I, uh, yeah, I'm an everything appreciator. Uh, hi there, magician! Full shoulders are best without some weird oversized jacket hanging off. Jackets not being... ...worked properly irritates me. Well, sometimes you just want to keep your arms warm, you know? Now, we don't... we don't ask... ...uh... ...how... The spider leg situation works in any article of clothing. Let's just assume that there's either holes or there's like a really low back. Uh... Or something, cause... I don't know how to make it work. Hi, Robert! Let's just assume I customize all of my clothing with holes for my spider legs in the back. Or else things get real complicated. <laughs> Take a <clears throat> moment to appreciate the fact that there's a spider belly button. Stop! No, no, no! Stop my belly button. Yeah, it's magic. It's magic. There is not. I don't have a belly button. I don't have feet. <laughs> it down a notch. <laughs> See, you guys know how bodacious I make my hips. Uh, hi, Vex. Just think about how, like, bodacious they are before I tone them down, like, eight times. <laughs> Kinetic stand. Oh yeah, I got that stuck in the in the in the belly button. Free the hips. They're free. Look, there's plenty of them. Come on, that's still a lot of hips. <laughs> I 
This is how you get around not having a symmetry tool. <laughs> you like them that way? I mean... Yeah, I do, but... Even, even I have my limits, okay? <laughs> Hi, Abraham! Okay, now how do we draw... Spider legs. This is a part that's always confusing to me. My hips are with it. Don't you mean I'm hip with it? What buckles don't know is the chafing that must be suffered. Oh yeah. It's terrible. See, that's the sign. That's the sign you guys don't think about. It's difficult. These look too noodly. I hate it. <laughs> might be work because of a really little back has opened your eyes to some possibilities. Yeah, but I don't have to draw those possibilities, so that's fine. The chafing and back pain. I mean... Doesn't give you back pain, though. Hi, Adam Boy and Maggie Loon. You are 130 pounds soaking wet and you promise chafing remains a menace. Really? It's just, yeah, it's just about how, like, wide set your hips are, I guess. Or, like, not hips, but, like... It can be about how wide set your hips are. Right. I got pink over here. Uh, how are your thighs since the trip? Oh, they're totally 100% better now. Totally all good. Usually it only takes it like, you know, a day or two <laughs> to heal. Yeah, and my feet that I don't have also are fine now. <laughs> Alright, uh... I don't like the way these spider legs are positioned. I want them wrapping around because that's cute and welcoming, right? I feel like it's welcoming if I have them wrapped around myself for some reason. I don't know why. I feel... I guess the opposite would make more sense, but... I just think it looks cute that way. Like, look, this is how... This is how... This is how much I'm gonna hug you and how, uh... You know... Close. <laughs> this is how close of a hug is gonna be. Spy door legs are also hugging. The more we drive these spider legs, the more hits home has special your design as you guys think! Spider legs being wrapped around is one of my favorite details of your drawings. Ah, You like drawing them like that too? Yeah, it's fun. It's cute. I like it. What do you guys like about the way I look? I, I know a lot of you guys are... Are... Really, uh... Really love the, spy, the spider eyes. As well. I can't copy my spider legs! I gotta draw them all individually! Or at least on the one side. The heart legs... The heart... Uh, the heart brains... <laughs> the spider eyes and legs... The purple hair... Your corset piercings... Oh, I love those two. Perfect for a spider, right? Forehead, legs, eyes... And the th <laughs> The hair braids in both styles. Yeah, I always wanna have the braid of some kind, you know? You want to give them brushies? Yeah. They want brushies. Spider eyes are great. Other eyes are great. Mm. 
The fangs. Yeah, I'm really glad I got the fangs added. The forehead. <laughs> what, like the hobbies the line? Yes. The hypothetical nose. <laughs> How are you supposed to choose? I don't know. I don't know. I feel like these are too far down. Your eyes have a lot of detail. Your hair color is a nice course. That piercings are red. Fangs, forehead. <laughs> Can't think of anything you don't like. Yatta! I'm glad. You know, I was always worried before that spider was gonna be a little bit eh for some people, but. I try and keep it nice and, uh, nice and, you know, subtle, nice and tasteful, right? You guys like how I drew the entirety of the one leg and put so much detail and I just got rid of most of it. <laughs> Some people don't realize you're a spider girl until later. Yeah, it's like I've been trying to, you know, have my eyes on uh open more, I should say. <clears throat> But I'll go for now. Good luck with the cake, Kyle. Happy birthday to your sister again. Uh, the heart loopies are the first thing you really appreciated. Yeah, I love them. I want it. I, I, I just wanted, you know, like, kind of. I sent my mama these like heart shaped braids, and she did a really good job with it. I always have a little bit of a rough time drawing them. No, they're not actually tough. They're very soft and fluffy and, you know, floofy. But I mean, they're tough to draw. For me, anyway. <clears throat> okay. You tend to forget them in your sketches. Ah, the curse of the spider legs. I really don't like spiders, but I'm just cute, so I make an exception. Yay! What if one pair was outstretched? Like, they also want a hug. I don't know if I'm. If I can, like... If I can pull that off. <laughs> like that. the spider legs for each drawing, it makes it easier to remember them. Yeah, I mean, I never personally forget them, but... You think it's cute? I think I'm gonna leave them wrapped around like this. <clears throat> spider eyes! I could do spider eyes. I kind of... It, the, to be honest, though, it kind of is tough, because the... The, um... The like eyebrows really add a lot to the kind look and like the emotionality. 
And then once you put spider eyes, it can be kind of... It's like a little bit difficult to read sometimes, but... I can try and see how it looks. Also, I'm not great at them yet. I guess that the only way, the only thing to do, you can do is practice in that case. Uh oh, Batsu, thank you so much for renewing your membership. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. Fire eyes replacing the eyebrows is the weird thing. Yeah, I don't know how you would like have them though. They kind of work like eyebrows. You can reshape, reposition them a little to change the feel. Yeah. You can, depending on... It's like, sometimes you can, but... If it's like an extreme shape, I feel like it gets kind of difficult. There's some artists that use your spider eyes to express like eyebrows. Yeah, yeah. People have done... I've just never had success doing that, you know. The ballerina, you tried a different method for your spider legs. I don't remember what I did. Ayon, thank you for the thirteen months. Buckle killer sweater. <laughs> I'll draw it eventually. Sometime, not on stream. <laughs> How does this look? You kind of think of them as those cute stubby style eyebrows? Me too! I kind of like thinking of them that way too. Spider eyes? Or... Eyebrows. Pretend you just see the one side. Ballerina art had the spider legs tucked under the skirt. Was that different though? Oh, it was the sectioned. Look. Pole? Yeah, we can do a pole. Hi, baby. Hi, Jinx. For the for the uh for the spider eyes. Whoa. They are cute. I do like them. I'm just not as good at them as I am eyebrows, obviously, because eyebrows are just like a line. <laughs> You guys love it? Okay. Hi, Bionic Kippo! Well, that looks like a win to me, so let's, uh... Well... <laughs> so let's get that implemented, shall we? Oh, I know what I can do. I can bring them over here, and then I can get rid of this stuff in the background. And then I can... Flip. And then... I can bring it over. Without disrupting too much. Yeah. Actually... That's a little weird positioning. Correct. 
Oh, I messed it up at the last second. <laughs> I go act like a phantom. That works. And my hair is gonna be like in front of it, but you'll still see it. The way I'm gonna... The way I'm gonna do it. <laughs> okay, uh... Oh, spider legs. <laughs> I forgot those need to be on the other side. Let's zoom out. What are you plucking at? <laughs> hmm. I've already copied and pasted this, but I already decided that I want to change something here. I want the bottom to be further in stuff. <laughs> to be further in. Well, that might be hard to do now. Without completely redrawing it, which I don't really want to do. Eh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Is your design sheet available anywhere? Uh, I, I posted it on Twitter and... Under my schedule, if you're on Twitter. If you're not on Twitter, I'm sure, I'm sure... Well, I don't know if we have any mods here at the very second. But they'd probably be happy to, to link it for you. I can grab it, though. Hold on. Oh, thank you guys. I need to send a specific link though, or else I... Uh... There we go. Or else uh, they're not gonna be able to see. Uh... There's a link there. Alright, I'm just gonna... I don't feel like redrawing these legs for like a fourth time, so... drawing is like a little derpy but I'm kind of I'm kind of enjoying the the derpy vibes. One second you guys. So I'm just going to keep going with it. One second. Liking it enough to keep going. I'm glad you guys like it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I like it. I like it too. Just, you know, if I had my more modern tools, there's definitely stuff I would refine, but... For, for making it in a program like this, I'm definitely liking it a lot as well. Yeah, 
Thank you guys. Yeah, I'm just I'm just playing. We're just you know we're just messing around. I haven't used this software in in years. I'm amazed I remember this much about it, but I guess it's kind of like you know riding a bicycle in that way. Hey, Spy Donkey. I wonder if moving the hands closer to the arm or to the shoulder would make it a little bit easier to connect. So I'm just gonna like try that briefly. Always like seeing the whole process from seeing basic lines to full drawing. All talent and hard work. Thank you. That's why I try and show you guys that stuff sometimes. Uh, if you're, you know, a member. Ooh, I think this looks good, actually. Like, you can kind of just, like, barely see the, the forearm. I think I might like this better. What do you guys think? Uh... <laughs> Hi. And hi, Nachi D. And hi, oh, I can't read your name, and also I can't read what you're saying. <laughs> this area that I'm like having trouble reconciling with. So maybe if I moved it close enough to where that area is not a thing. Maybe that would help me out. But now it just looks like I got giant T-Rex hands. Okay, we're gonna put it back to where it was before, I think. I've eaten yet. Uh, yes. <laughs> I have, yeah. You got one of those posable dolls for artists? I don't know. I have a reference, but it's it's like gloved, so they're like not showing the full arms. Drawing's looking great, thank you! This is kind of fine, maybe? See you, Ogiros! Foreshortening never feels right until so you say we're over and over and it stops meaning anything. Yeah, that might be what's going on here. Nowadays, you have the Bandai Super Posable fig Figures. <laughs> I mean, the wooden dolls are more for basic shapes rather than... I don't know what ba the Bandai one you're referring to is, though. Yeah, I, c I don't like taking, like, a picture and using that. Because then I have to, like, stare at a picture of myself when I draw. And I don't want to do that.
When balls are tricky to deal with, very delicate and not as easy to pose as you imagine they might be. Yeah. I, I do better uh, going from like... 2D... 2D stuff. Personally. Hold on, let me see if I can find a reference that's a little bit better. It shows a little bit more. The wrist lines up with the curve of the edge of the index finger. Do you mean this? Is that the index finger? <laughs> I don't know my fingers. Is that the one? It is the pointer finger, okay. So like this? So then that matches up, maybe. I think this looks way better already. Maybe. Hi, Kelpie! Hands are a pain to draw. I mean, it's not even the hands in this situation. It's just like... This impossible pose I've chosen for myself. <laughs> Bye. wrist comes out of the hand, the perspective on the arm facing you wouldn't be making the wrist that wide. It wouldn't. Should I make it narrower? You know what? Sometimes, you guys, I get to the point <laughs> in a drawing like this where I like can't figure out one thing and then I'm gonna erase the whole thing. Is what I do. But I'm not gonna do that right now because I'm streaming and I can't do that. But I just want you to know that that's what I would be doing if I was drawing by myself right now. <laughs> <laughs> Just draw you putting your hands in the art pocket. <laughs> that sounds really hard too. Hi, Ramon. I guess in that case, then it would just be like, boop. I don't even know. I don't even. How will you draw that? <laughs> I guess it would be out of frame. Pocket cookies? You got pocket cookies? You wouldn't share them with me anyway. I don't like it. Let me see if I can find a better reference to demystify stuff. I don't know.
<laughs> no, split them in half with me. Give me half, hello cookie. Oh, do you guys have leg free pants? I still wear mine on my head. Why are you doing that? That's not where pants go. Putting a chicken pot pie in each palm. <laughs> Again, the hands is not like... The part I'm having the trouble with is... Attaching them. Making it more rounded would help, especially where the forearm... Meets the upper arm here. More rounded. I don't, I'm not sure I know what you mean. People are wearing gloves. I'm starting to understand why. <laughs> There's like something covering the forearms or whatever. Depends where the hands are in space. If they're by your sides, your elbows are behind you. If they're outstretched and they're like more in front, that also changes the angle of their arms. Is there somewhere I can put them that will make this less painful for me? I mean, this doesn't look that bad, but when it comes to adding, like, the sweater arms... Then it becomes a problem, you know? When I have to add, like, folds and stuff. Hmm. I have her fall! Like, let's say that they're here. And then... They're like, kind of in front of me. Then I just kind of have to do this. And like, like, maybe like... Have some of the elbow showing behind. What do you think of that? Shoulder part. Hi, Dorime. That does the trick. Okay, nice. Yeah, I like this better. Shoulder. You can't just say shoulder. I don't know what that means. <laughs> what about the shoulder? Elbow should be in front of the chest. Well, how the heck would that work? You mean like this? No, that looks crazy to me. Alright, alright, alright. <laughs> I mean, not necessarily. You could do it in a way where it's, it's not. Whatever, I'm keeping it like this. I like the way it looks, even if it doesn't make sense on paper. I think it looks fine. I'm not changing it anymore. Hi, Casey.
So I think because the arms are further back, it's gonna be more, uh... This, like, shoulder bit is gonna be more detached from the arm... ...section. Art does not need to be accurate to real life. Yeah! <laughs> exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like as long as it looks... It doesn't, like, create that many questions in your brain, then... I think it's okay. So let's say the top of the... This... This is here. And I want the top of the sweater to fall kind of below that. Uh, have a good day at work, Golden Slaughterer! I'm lowering it just a titch. Just a titch. You know. So that... Things make more sense overall. I have to tilt my head here. <laughs> How is Ami so cute? <laughs> Why is Ami so cute, you guys? The buckle hive mind is something else. Yeah, and you'll get to see a little bit more of the corset piercing that way, which is always nice, because that's a nice little detail. Kind of looks Christmassy somehow. Like a Christmas style dress. The tilt. Well, it's because I can't tilt my canvas, which is what I would normally like to do. Better watch out. You <laughs> better watch out. The arm part of the dress should bend kind of up to match the angle of the arm, but that's not essential. Like, uh, like this or like this? I feel like that makes it look crazy. <laughs> While well, ago, you mentioned that you were updating Chibi on me, but were you changing? Ah. Uh... I can't really say. I can't really say. It's like... It's like... It's not really an update. It's kind of like a whole other... A whole other one. You know? Yeah, it's a surprise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm. Instead of curving down on the... Uh, oh, I understand what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're totally right. You mean it should go like this? <laughs> ah, okay. That's probably what was causing me some strife.
I get you. All right. You'd like to see spawn me again someday? You definitely will for Halloween. You can bring it up the scuff model if you want. We thought it was cute. What scuff model? I don't think it's scuffed, really. It's just not like that. Uh... It's just not like that good, but... I don't know if I call it scuffed. Yeah, you guys will see Spammy. Uh, she's real good for, you know, Halloween and stuff. Okay. Now... Let me save myself a ton of pain here and just... Oh, it looks so weird. I hate it. <laughs> Every time I zoom out. Ugh. Even know what I don't like about it. That's the worst part. I think it's just the hand is too square. I think this improves things for me. Yeah, let's go with that. Sure, that's <laughs> actually yeah. Actually yeah. Actually yeah. That does that does make things better. Uh, I actually want to copy this whole area. Too close to the body? I put it too, I put it close to the body on purpose. Because I couldn't draw the arm behind it. Doing foreshortening again. about five shortening? Well, what is that? What is five shortening? Maybe I can try like putting shortening in pie crust. That's how you make pie crust. Did you know? Or is it an easy way to make pie crust if you want to? You can put Crisco. Five gum, four shortening, but one more. <laughs> are having fun with the limitations or not so much? It's not the limitations of the program. It's the limitations of my brain. <laughs> Might be better when you use it in a better to do when you use it. Yeah, I'll try it, you know. I'll try it again not in oikaki. <laughs> use Crisco for more than just... Ew! Don't use it for hair gel. What the frick? Oh yeah, I wanted to add something here so that it was not so... There we go. I mean, it still looks bad, but... I think this is as good as it's gonna get. It still looks... Uh, sorry. <laughs> it still looks uh, not like I want, but I think it's as good as it's gonna get. My pensive!
It looks great. I love it. <laughs> I love it. You can draw good shoulders. Well, thank you. It's perfectly fine. Maybe. I'm scared because usually, usually when you do a sketch, you know, and something looks stuffed, usually, if you, uh... If you... do the line art, then it can bring out some things which are, like, messed up about it. <laughs> but... With the sketch already being kind of scuffed, I'm like a little bit scared. What's gonna, what's gonna, sh what monsters are gonna show themselves? Let me, <laughs> let me try and outline art. But uh, we'll see. It's all just for fun, you know. I'm being too, too. I'm being too hard on myself for something that's supposed to be silly. Anyway, so. There's... there's two layers. But... No, you can't add more than two. You're adding line art? I thought you were doing an MS Paint style thing. I'm gonna try and go the whole way and do a finished drawing. Yeah. Gotta try. a thousand times better than anything I drew back in the day on Oikaki, so there's that. <laughs> That's a nice thought. It's really great so far. Thank you, guys. Would you give her a hug? Or would you receive a hug? Because really, that's what's going on here. <laughs> well made, comfy, a bit sexy. My favorite. <laughs> yeah. The upper arm is kind of slim looking. I mean, it's partially hidden... Uh, behind... Behind anyway, so it's not like not like you're seeing the whole arm, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna mess with it anymore cuz I'm getting frustrated Yeah, you want a hug? Okay Thank God you guys said yes, or you may never, you never be getting a hug. <laughs> that was a with spider leg hug, by the way. You're welcome. <laughs> Let's see what we can do.
you show the Ami Toxin bottle? Uh, I, if I have it, wait, hold on. I don't know if I have it at the ready. Which one of these is it? I probably didn't name it something normal. I probably named it something crazy. <laughs> All I can find, all I can find is, is this. <laughs> oh wait, I have the Life 2D item. Yeah, hold on. This one. There you go. Wow, 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 wow. Wow 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 There you go <laughs> Uh oh you just shook it oh no what's gonna happen <laughs> Don't drink it you guys just wanted to see it you're all sipping it what the frick I thought you just wanted to take a, a peek Okay uh Oh yeah, I was gonna do more rectangle. To get rid of the background background sketch. So that's just the one we just did. Okay! So now I have to decide how I want to do the line art. So there is... Uh, in the past, I've seen people use this like watercolor tool, right? Where it's like... Kinda have to go over it like a thousand times to create any line art. But if you do, you'll get kind of line art that's like kind of anti alias, right? Like that. So that's like. Bam, right? So I could do that, or I could, if I want to use... Uh, isn't there that other trick for anti aliasing There's a tool for it, but it doesn't really look that good, I don't think. I'll show you guys. It's like this. It just kind of makes it like blurry. So normally what I would just do is just like... Oh, some people I think also like... Take the regular one and lower the... Lower the alpha way bunch. So that it kind of does it. Hi, Onyx! You be using the Ami Toxin for something down the line? Oh... What is it? <laughs> I'm so curious. You think the face is cute? Yatta. Maybe I'll try going this route with the alpha at But I think it's better than just pixels, maybe. Let's keep going with this. 170... Is what I had it at, I believe. <clears throat> yeah. Pixels are an Ami aesthetic, and you know... First angle looks like she's talking through a video camera. Oh, like she's holding the camera. <laughs> I 
And you know, I was thinking I wanted to use the half tone tools, but now I'm thinking maybe I want to try using the watercolor. So I'm not sure. I'm gonna keep going with this for now. But to be honest, pixels would be so much easier because then I could just do this. And that would be a lot faster to make line art. So now I'm like wiffle waffling. Maybe I will just do pixels. But then this is like way easier. Ah, uh, yeah, I can make the brush thicker like this. What I used to do is I used to like... So let's say I have this line here, right? I used to like do this kind of base, yay, And then I will go into... Uh, the eraser. And then I would... Uh, erase parts of it. How does this work again? Then I would add like line weight. But it's a little bit difficult to like figure out exactly how it's gonna look. But you know, it would be something like that, right? So let's try the two pixel brush. And I'm gonna try and bezier it up. And then, yeah, you can also erase. Accentuating the pertinent bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can also just erase stuff. When I was uh, younger, I drew with a mouse. So, I had less control, so using Bézier was good. Is Bézier a wine? Now I want wine. <laughs> Erasing method can be fun, like you're whittling a picture. Yeah, I like it. It's just like, uh, you know... When I was using a mouse, it was a bit tough. Back in the day. I really hope you guys are having a good day today. And of course, like tomorrow and the rest of the week, but... Sometimes I get the moments where like... The, the spider mama sense is tingling, you know? Feeling better now? Better for having onion? Thanks for the beam! Oh yeah! Miraku beam! <laughs> Pretty good, that's good, that's good. You review PDFs for five hours? Oh god. Oh god. Good, good, I'm glad you guys are having a nice day. Oh, I forgot you guys get a double, double, double dose. Hi, Pink Dragon. It's been a day, oh no, I don't like to hear that. <laughs> you guys get a double dose of eye toxin later. Right now is a happy day? Good! Uh, a very happy time. That's good, that's good. Sorry for all the heckling about the drawing. No, that's okay! Uh, you know, I need... I, you know, I was asking for advice, so... Your spider mama instincts are on point always. Well, that's kinda, you know, I kinda don't like to hear that, because I wish you were all actually having a wonderful day. And my spider senses were wrong. <laughs> and that... My spider mama's senses were wrong. And that, um... You know. You're all be like, no! 
Everything's fine. Uh, hello, Eldem Soul. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome. Welcome in. Thank you guys for hanging out today. What time is it right now? Oh, okay. <coughs> Alright, let me continue. This is really thick lines. I hope I can make them look normal. <laughs> More than two hours until Azimer. Oh, I gotta eat before. Before Azimer, but I gotta have time. Uh oh. If I need to like push it like ten minutes if I'm not finished eating or whatever, right? Cause a girl gotta eat. <laughs> you planning on cooking something leftovers or ordering? No, I'm not cooking. I'm 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 this week I'm like it's, it's over, you know. <laughs> it's over. I'm so shamble already. Ten minutes isn't enough time to eat properly. Oh no, I'll definitely be starting to eat before that, but you know, to like finish eating, basically. Don't worry. I will. I will. I will. You know. I'll make sure I have plenty of time to eat. No, I don't want an anti alias. Uh, this. <clears throat> well, that's all I got so far. Got some really comfy vibes. It's like give give your spider mama a hug. Come here, you. I like it a lot. I like the like feeling of it a lot. Oh, hi. <laughs> On the background layer. I know you guys don't care if I burp, but I actually like don't. I'm not. I'm not kidding. <laughs> it's weird. I like have, but you know, I can count the amount of times I have on one hand. It's really strange. <clears throat> you said you burped for like the five the time in your life at that barbecue. Yeah. Is it fun? What burping? 
Uh, a little bit, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. It feels it, it, it feels relief, relieving. And you guys were proud of me, right? I said it on on Twitter. And you guys all told me how proud you were. <laughs> I'm such a doofus sometimes. Or it probably just escapes gradually over time. Yeah, I, th I think that's what happens. Honestly. Tweeter. <laughs> oh, hiyaku guy. Oh, hiyaku guy. I'm not. Interesting. <laughs> so far, that's how I feel about it. a crazy cat lady. <laughs> there you guys cat. I should get another cat. <laughs> oh, no, I am a crazy cat lady. Definitely am. Spider Girl handle three cats? Honestly, probably not. Probably not a great idea. Fill the web with cats. I love kitties. And so many cats need help. I wanna help them. A lady. I'm a crazy cat lady. <laughs> kind of giving new grounds weight with the way it's like, oh, the line weight and stuff. I kind of get what you mean. It's kind of like harsh comic booky kind of feel. One cat per loopy. You should get another loopy. <laughs> I'm kind of lost. Um, um, um. 
Crazy cat lady and crazy cat lady. Exactly. I am both. I am both of those things. I want to do just use the pen tool and freehand it. <clears throat> I like cats. I do. <laughs> Buckles are low maintenance compared to cats. We just wander around like house hippos. You guys are not low maintenance compared to cats. I feel like cats, you know. Maybe you guys can use the toilet, so yeah, that might be accurate. But I might be able to, you know, train my cats to use the toilet. I do snack, I do be snacking. <laughs> you can't hunt for yourselves? Well, most people can't. I can, but that's only because you guys are so, like, uh, you know... You guys are so willing to help me out. <laughs> yeah. I was toilet my first stop because I hate scooping uh, the litter box. That's why. That's like the worst part about having a cat. It's not a germaphobe. It's just like stinky and unpleasant. Oh yeah, you guys are better at becoming the buckle blankie. That's for dang sure. It's not so bad when you get once you get used to it. It's bad. It's so bad. <laughs> what if they pee on my microwave? Why would they do that? I guess that would be upsetting if that happened. <laughs> but I don't think it's going to. You already did! You should, if you haven't... You should get them checked, because it's possible if they pee in strange places, they might have like a... a, a infection of some kind. So, it's not a bad idea to keep an eye out for that sort of thing. <laughs> yeah, outside cats, they just, they just go outside, that's true. But, you know... Outdoors is kind of a scary place for kitties. Unless they've always been outdoor cats. Some some of them are like feral and you can't bring them inside. Something about cat doo-doo that's more nasty than regular animals. It's the pee! It stinks so bad! <laughs> cats don't seem like the robot litter boxes. They don't feel like they can trust it not to do something scary. Uh, I think most of them are like... Uh, They'll, like, stop doing scary things when a cat is anywhere near it. I like that I can press space and then drag around the canvas. I wasn't expecting that to be a thing on this, uh... On this, like... It's not even software, this application. But it is, and that's awesome. Hi, Romanticore! <clears throat> Sometimes outdoor cats end becoming inside cats if you spoil them enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sometimes they do, but some of them are like, you know, feral and they can't like... But I'm a big advocate of... Indoor... Indoor kitties. Mm. 
Well, I only bring my kitties outside, like, on a leash. Which makes me look a little bit like a crazy person, but I don't really give a care. A feral buckle. I feel like we got some of those in the chat already. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that was... <laughs> So I'm not getting a harness for one of yours? Yeah, I have harnesses for mine. They like it. It's not too uncomfy, you know. They don't mind it at all. Her kitties on a leash sounds so cute. I want to draw that. <laughs> Completely tame, a feral monster. <laughs> we gone feral since you took breaks. What is that supposed to mean? Breaks, plural. What does that mean? <laughs> Someone's trying to rewrite history. <laughs> Tracking your cat outside years ago and she just looked at you like you were insane and <laughs> refused to cooperate. That's cute. That's cute. Yeah, some kitties are like that. My kitties like going outside though. Every time you took a break, you go feral. Again, again, what break? <laughs> I mean, I guess I did take one kind of recently. But my issue was with the breaks, plural, specifically. <laughs> yum, 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 yum. One of your especially pathetic cats when uh, if he follows you around and whines when you're doing chores. That you're more likely to get him wet cat food after. Yeah, that's the thing. You can't reward that bad behavior. Although, I also do it to get them off of my back. <laughs> Your dad walks his cat on a leash. I don't really take them for, like, walks. I just, like, take them outside. You ever pick up a kitty and have her slung while you, like, stir a pot and do stuff? Oh, yeah, like, under the arm, like a football player. Oh, yeah. <laughs> For you, an extra day off for week counts as a break. That's not fair. That's not fair. Don't have... Don't have... You know... Different expectations for me. <laughs> what the frick? Don't be wide enough. You get whatever you want. Thanks, Mom. Life and learn. Well, no. I... Not whatever you want. I have my limits, okay? <laughs> but yeah, a lot of things. Yeah, probably. Cats are so smart. They got it all figured out. a few times speaking of so cold <laughs> you guys just got a hug you're not cold are you are you what do you want buckle use your words you wish you were a cat join the club i also wish i was a cat <laughs> <laughs> 
You didn't say come here. I do for earlier one, right? At least for your doofuses. Yeah, I like I like I like a doofus. Looking great, thank you. There isn't any national take advantage of I'm being a sweetheart day yet. It's gonna be today. Buckles are gonna make sure make sure it's today. <laughs> when I'm extra when when I'm when I'm extra sappy because of stuff, you know. <laughs> Gotta go decorate the cake off on. Yeah, are you warm now? You better be. Or I'll find another way to warm you up. Good night, Ria. With fire, with fire. Nothing weird. With fire, I meant. I mean, that's a little weird, but. <laughs> oh, God. With fire. Violence. <laughs> I'm gonna take a bathroom break, I'll be right back. Okay, sorry. <laughs> be 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 uh silly.
Mamma Mia! I'm back, you guys! Thank you for waiting! Uh... Thank you! Terrible and Riding Soul and Gento and Kamala Slime for the blue super chats. And thank you to Konki and Noah and El Dorado for the... 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 burger! Hi! And hot dog super sticker. I'm not getting any of those things, by the way. I'm getting chicken shawarma. Chicken shawarma. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, thank you guys for waiting and for being silly while I was gone. Even though you're always silly. Okay. <laughs> I just realized what I should be doing. Is I should be doing all of the line art and then all of the... Like, erasing of the lines. Right? I feel like that makes more sense. Meow, 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 meow. <clears throat> Tadai mami ya. Tadai mami ya 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 all right. Continuing on. With the other hand. Such an amazing voice. Well, thank you, but I wasn't really. <laughs> I was just being silly. I wasn't like really singing. But oh, that's sweet. That sounded so obnoxious. <laughs> I wasn't even trying. <laughs> I wasn't even trying. We can see my full power. <laughs> Is BGM louder? You just noticed it? It shouldn't be louder, no. I haven't changed anything. Your voice is amazing. Well, go check out my recent cover. Go check out my recent cover of Duvet. Yes, do. Do do that. Because I'm really proud of how that one turned out. I almost didn't, like, even release that version of it, which is kind of crazy. If you think about it. But then I asked on Twitter, and everyone was like, Ami, we want the heart and soul version. Give us the heart and soul. So I gave you guys the heart and soul and uh that was the version. <laughs> Hi Eigenlicht. It was amazing. I'm glad you liked it. Thank you. And I have a cover coming out. Ah! Perfect timing! I have a cover coming out on Friday as well with Chisaka ID. Ah, that's gonna be on her channel. The link was just posted there. By Nightbot. I should get that open and... Wait... For that as well, we're covering an idol song. You have any impression most artists are always too hard on themselves and can't see... The beauty... Anymore when they worked on something for a long time. That's part of it. Other part is like, you know... Psychological stuff. I mean, I guess it's like all psychological stuff, but... <clears throat> Are you doing something else this Saturday? Oh! Yeah, also... I, let me show you guys, actually. Hold on. The 23rd, which is Saturday. Um, I will be a guest at Alpha. Um, Alpha Beta, who is uh, a VTuber. She's a beta fish. Very amazing singer. Very incredible singer. I'm gonna be a guest at her first uh, anniversary celebration. And we're gonna sing a song together. Uh, it's actually an artist that I really, really <clears throat> uh, love. 
the song that we're singing together. She came to me and she proposed the... Here's the little graphic that Alpha made for it. Yeah. So she came to me with a song in mind already. Uh, and it was an amazing idea. And I was like, well, I can't, I can't say no to that. <laughs> so... That's going to be on... Um, the 23rd at... Uh, 9.30 p.m. Pacific. So, there you go. Uh, lots of cool guests. Lots of cool guests as well. Yeah. So yeah, I'm excited for you guys to hear that. Now that's not, uh, a cover, you know, type of situation. That's more of like, karaoke style. Although it's like, pre-recorded, of course. Um... It's gonna be like... Uh, you know, it, it's not gonna be as polished because it's karaoke. So, don't expect anything like uh, you know. It, it's 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 not like a fully mixed type of situation. Although, Alpha, um, does all her mixing herself for her covers. So, uh. She's probably gonna do something, and it's probably gonna sound really, really good still. <laughs> uh, okay... I really wanna be a bad girl and just... I really wanna be a bad girl and just... Uh, why does it take the... the... Oh. Oh. Okay, it does get transparent. <clears throat> Be bad. Hi, Super Iron Bob. Belly... I mean, I got a little bit of a... You know... Primordial pouch. <laughs> there. <laughs> this is such a weird word to use about humans. I am so bad, I know. I know, I'm bad to the bone. Ba 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 ba. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, just like a kitty cat. Ba 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 ya ya da. I will get this perfect. <laughs> Don't worry. That's close enough. Ba 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 ya da. You guys, when I sometimes I say on Twitter like uh, I'm gonna be a little naughty and you know order a pumpkin spice latte or whatever. <laughs> I know you guys know I'm just being ironic. I don't actually talk like that. I mean, I guess I do actually talk like that because I am, but I'm do I'm doing it in like a funny way. It's like in a self-aware way. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, got it, capiche? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, really. I was just being ironic, guys. <laughs> Gonna put the sarcasm ha ha harder so it comes across in text. No, that's why it's funny. Because <laughs> it sounds serious. <laughs> ironic and whole becomes unironic, yeah. You would consider ordering pumpkin spice being naughty, you don't understand that flavor at all. I mean, it's just like. It's just like cinnamon and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Just like cinnamon and sweet stuff. It's not that crazy. Uh, 
have to head out. Have to, have to head out on um, things for the art, the closing art stream. You're so welcome. I hope you uh have a good rest of your day. Good luck with whatever you got going on. Okay. I mean, it's like it's like you know, like a uh, pumpkin pie or something. You know, the same kind of spices. A cinnamon roll, it's got those kind of vibes. A soft cinnamon roll. That's me. <laughs> That's me. A cinnamon roll. Sounds comfy. A cinnamon roll, doesn't it? A soft cinnamon roll. <laughs> Ooh, I love cinnamon rolls. Maybe I'll get one on Friday. Remember to acknowledge it, but someone said earlier, I think it was Hussar, that uh, <clears throat> they tried honey mustard with their pretzel, their soft pretzel, for the first time, and it was good. And yeah, of course it was, because I give good, I give good food recommendations. Okay, I know what's up. <laughs> it was you. Congrats on your delicious new new treat <laughs> that you discovered. Mm -hmm. Thanks to me. <laughs> it's good, right? Savory pretzel? You guys never had a savory pretzel? Usually when I get pretzels, it's some kind of savory one. Only occasionally do I get like cinnamon sugar. I mean, I haven't gotten a pretzel in years, but... Your roasted potato pack came out perfectly. Did you try it? Did anyone else try my roasted potato pack? <laughs> Where you like you like part uh, you like boil them a little bit first and then and then you shake them all up and then yeah. Did you try? Sorry, I got way too excited about that. <laughs> way 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 too excited. <laughs> Butter and salt. Ooh. It's on my food tag? Oh my gosh. Okay, I can't wait to look. I will look. Yeah, I got way too excited about that. Apologies. Apologies. <laughs> You love of potatoes is understandable and relatable. Potatoes are great. Love them. One of our very own knuckles is a great potato. Or a sumptuous potato, but... I say sumptuous potatoes are great potatoes, personally. <clears throat> you put some other stuff in there too. I wanna check, I wanna check. Uh, okay, almost, almost, almost through with the line art. Although I have to add line weight to everything, which might take a bit. I'll try and be fast. I'm trying to be quick like a bunny. Hi, Chief. Geez, so cute. I'm glad. I'm glad you guys like it. Spider bunny. <laughs> Bunnies are freaking cute, aren't they? They're kind of like violent, though. My f 
friend, the one who I went to visit recently, she works with animals and she works with bunnies. And she has like freaking bunny bites all over her arms. And during that phase of every Ami drawing when you realize how cute it's gonna be when it's done. Yeah, done. I hope so. Yeah, they're they're very, very sharp biters. Monty Python. Wait, did something with rabbits happen in Monty Python? Not as sharp as me, of course. Was the bunny okay? Famously, Vorpal Bunny. The killer rabbit joke. Oh god. Was the bunny okay? No, I'm not gonna do that. <clears throat> the bunny was okay. It was more than okay. Alright, well then. Its owner was not happy. But they put food coloring on her bunny. Oh no, that probably took forever to get out. Oh my god. They threw a holy hand grenade at it, but your memory is... What? That doesn't sound fine. They can get very bitey either with people or with furniture. Mm hmm not as bitey as me, though. Yeah. Yeah. I don't buy furniture, no. Just buckles. Lucky for you guys. <laughs> and batteries. Okay, I didn't bite the battery. I just put my tongue on it. You live near the center of your city, but there are rabbits everywhere. You took a picture of three rabbits chilling in front of your apartment. You know, I've only ever seen a rabbit in like the wild once. So that's pretty amazing. Pretty crazy. Dun -dun -dun. The rabbit on the, in the country need to hide from predators more than town rabbits. True, yeah, so they probably are all hidden. A couple of rabbits that tend to visit your yard every so often. Aww. I want to play with rabbits. You know who are really friendly little guys that I love playing with? Rats are really cute. Rats! <laughs> We're the rats! The rats! We are the rats! <laughs> Quirky little guys. Yeah, they're so cute. Even the giant ones that make all the rules. Especially the giant ones that make all the rules. <laughs> And monkeys. I love rats, I love monkeys, and I love turtles. I like turtles. <laughs> I like dragon. <laughs> <laughs> we pray at night, we stop at night, we are the rats. I like dragons, I think they're cool. <laughs> sorry, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> the poll hit 300 votes. What the heck? <laughs> I forgot that's even still up. <laughs> People just come in, they're like, ooh, a poll vote, and then they leave. <laughs> Okay. 
see. Uh, oh, the face. <laughs> Duh. Sometimes a pull covers chat. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that does happen. Uh, yeah, I don't like that. That's annoying. And now, mom. like when it wants food. It's me. <laughs> it's me. That cat ain't right. Hey! <laughs> hey, what the frick? Uh, love you guys. Thank you for hanging out today. Love you guys. We're gonna have some more fun later. Well, I don't know. Fun. Or cozy time. Relax time. With Azamur. Hope you guys are ready for that. Should be nice. You love the thick lashes? Yeah, I love it too. Sometimes it can look strange though, like when I do it, so I gotta be careful. A cheeky little cheeky little spoop a doop. Cheeky little spoop a doop. Cheeky little spoop a doop. There we go. Why not? Ready for cozy? Yeah. I don't know how cozy the stories are gonna be, to be honest. I only know the one story. But, uh, I don't know. They might be scary. Japanese fairy tales can be kind of weird. <laughs> Shpoopa do. Shpoopa da boo. Shpoopa da boo. Bibbity, bobbity. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. What was wrong with me? I think I think I think I'm just so funny. Like, I don't know. I was saying last night on Twitter how I got uh I got uh to me the peak Peak humor is AVGN, like, 
trying to like trying and failing to name off what the sprites are in a game like he'll be like what's that a flying octopus what's that two babies being delivered inside of a garbage can and what's that what's everything like that's just hilarious to me <laughs> i am mango optimize what's that nuclear waffles what's that a radioactive cupcake <laughs> What's that, Mr. Fireman? <laughs> it's goofy. And bubbles. <laughs> All right. Robot, they could have called this game Bird vs. Camel and no one would argue with them. <laughs> Nuclear Waffles would be a really good YouTube username. That's true. I'm sure somebody's like used it though. That's how good it is. <laughs> That's how good it is. I think somebody's already claimed it. <laughs> Okay, now I gotta add the line weight. Water syrup <laughs> coming together beautifully. Thank you so much. So it'll be salty syrup. Ew! Or actually, it could be good, you know, salted caramel type of thing. I love salted caramel. That's quality wastewater. I think I'm cute. <laughs> it's coming along well. Yay! Beautiful. Look, very cute. Look, cute. Thank you! Thank you, Spider Mama. This is really top Spider Mama vibes, isn't it? Looks warm. I hope it's warm. I hope I get a nice, warm, cozy hug. I do. I've been told I give I give good hugs, you know. From my friends and family and stuff. Need all the hugs you can get on a cold winter's evening like tonight. Oh, is it cold in your area? It's starting to cool down here. Starting to. I had the window open earlier. It was really nice. Really, really nice crisp breeze. It's too thin. <laughs> A blizzard? What? Already? Oh god. What a nightmare. I'm so sorry. Starting to cool down where you are too. I can't... I couldn't imagine having snow already. Oh. I'm so sorry. I hope that's a one-off. Type of thing. Hi, JL. Still 90s in Texas. <laughs> Oh, 
And the huggy Spider-Man to warn up. Oh, was that what was happening? So it was a fake... So it was a lie. The blizzard was a lie. <laughs> to, to get a hug out of your little Spider-Man. <laughs> Good golly, quick gosh. Bell wash. Oh, there's still so much to do in terms of line weight. I want a color! I think the mouth is too low. Or something's up with the face. This is a super cute drawing. Thank you. An ice storm, you're gonna freeze to death? Well, you're a fish. Don't you just like go under the mud or something when that happens? <laughs> Isn't that a thing? Or am I crazy? I mean, I am crazy. I always ask that. I have to stop asking that. Or am I crazy? Because it's like, yes, I am crazy. And also... That is a thing. <laughs> that is a thing that happens. Not the mud. Oh, you don't like it. Aww. You can stay in my laundry hamper. You guys can all stay in my laundry hamper. Yes and no. <laughs> you have to ask. You probably are. Yeah. <laughs> I'm silly. But if I hear any deep sniffs coming from that thing... It's straight to the freezer for you. <laughs> Can your hand for accommodate all of us? Sure. But what if you have a cold? Then you're just gonna have to freaking blow your nose or something. But on a tissue, not on my clothing! <laughs> Please don't use the sniff word. What? <laughs> Why? There's nothing wrong with that word. Eh? Meal? Well, you don't do that by blowing snot all over the place. <laughs> Who taught you that? <laughs> this Austin. Do you have to fight my cats for the laundry hamper space? No. No, they kind of just like. They like the floor, really. And my bed. the floor? What? No. They lay on the floor. <laughs> you mean their bed that they let you use sometimes? Oh, it's my bed. It's my bed. It's got more my stink on it than it's got their stink on it. And in cat... In the world of cats, that means it's mine. <laughs>
on your mouth. They like the floor, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you lay there too while there's plenty of... No. <laughs> so I say, there's plenty of stink in my hamper. But I don't want you smelling inside my hamper either. Don't do that. <laughs> I mean, you have to breathe, but like I said, I don't want to hear any big... No big sniffs. None of that. No more wind noises at all. Whatsoever. I should play more wind again soon. But down by down. Okay. Think we're just about good. Let's start adding some freaking color. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. <clears throat> okay, skin tones. I don't remember what I did last time either. <laughs> the line work turned out really nice. Yay, I'm glad. I want less green, more blue. Oh, that's super pink. Yeah, like this. Actually, I should definitely fill with, like, gray first. So that I can... ...see what I'm doing. Oh. Rect. For rectangle. I saw Tori seeing Oikaki again is so nostalgic. I know! I haven't used this in so many years. Looking good, thank you! Okay. I just want to see what the watercolor looks like. If I were to use that for shading, what kind of... What kind of vibe would we have? Because I've never used that to, to, like, shade before. This will not be my shading color, but... Could be good, honestly. It's hard to pick, like, an, 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 a nice color on this. My concern is just that it doesn't really match with, like, the line art. That's kind of okay. I mean, it makes things really, like, easy. <laughs> Can I sample a color? I think I did. Wait. Oh, you can! Oh my god. This is amazing. Whoa. I never knew you could do this. If you alt-tap... You can sample a color. That's amazing. I think there's a blur tool. Yeah. What else do we got? Light and dark, half tone and blur. Okay. Cool, right? Kinda of blowing my mind. Meow, 
anything. I forgot to do this hand. <clears throat> For the like the line weight. drawing like my whole life pretty much Mama, 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 Mama. what do you mean today today i've been drawing for like three and a half hours Whoa. <laughs> oh my god oopsie Overall, a very long time. Very long time. <laughs> Have you been a musician your whole life too? I'm not... No. Not my whole life. Yeah, I invented drawing back in the Stone Age. <laughs> I just got the 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 notification that my food is almost to me, so I might have to wrap it up soon. Cause I do have to get ready for asthma still. Did I start with singing first? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I would have sang before I did. Anything else? Multi-instrumentalist, which is awesome. Yeah, it is cool. I just been... I don't know. I've been like good at picking up music stuff. My whole life. It's strange. Nice drawing. Thank you! Probably, sadly, we will not be able to... Finish... Today. I do like I do like what we got going on. Oh, I forgot all about the face. Creative bone. I don't know for like uh hi 
in your face, she does want to hug. She wants to hug you. <laughs> for, for like music especially for me, I don't know. Like I'm good at picking up... Other... Stuff too. This is your mouse only but No, 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 I'm using... I'm using a tablet. <laughs> Back in the day, I would have used, used mouse only. But yeah, like especially music for some reason. Always been very quick to pick it up. Fine to think that there are great artists out there who are mouse only or those crazy phone drawing people. You know. So crazy. To me. Always blushing. <laughs> oh, you were you were baking bread after the gym. That's nice what you reward yourself for going to the, the gym. <laughs> Phone drawings are incomprehensible if you're beyond a certain age group. Some people have written no well, I mean writing novels makes more sense. But drawing like that's crazy. You gotta use your finger. I mean I guess you can use a stylus. But you know. <laughs> on paper helps a lot by making your phone out art turn out good. I don't think I could even do that. <laughs> I really don't. Oh, I want to finish it. Can I like save and come back to it later? I feel like I remember this being a function. But I don't want to actually post it on this site. <laughs> I feel like that would be weird. So maybe I'll just like take a screenshot of the line art. Why would it be weird? I don't know, cause it's not. First of all, it's not finished. I don't know. Like I didn't read the rules or anything for this site, so I probably shouldn't post anything on it before knowing that. Cause sometimes. You can't, uh... I guess I can leave it open. I am gonna save it though, just in case. Sometimes I'll have, like, certain specific rules. Uh... Ami hug. There we go. So that way I still have the line art, you know, and then... And then... I can... Color it later. Well, if you don't read the rules, they might delete it. They might delete it if you don't follow the rules, you know, so... Gotta be careful. Oh... I'll just leave it open for now. <sighs> can you share the site so we can check the rules for you? I didn't want to share the site because I didn't want, you know... Uh... I don't know, I don't know. I don't want to disturb the ecosystem, you know. It's fine though, I got it. I got it saved. Website has a bunch of card doodles in this one. I mean, yeah, exactly, exactly. Okay. All right, you guys. Thank you for hanging out. I'm gonna um uh oh, we dumb boy. Thank you so much for the twelve months. And hi to you. Congrats on your pink thread. Hello, we dumb boy. You're not a dumb boy. <laughs> Oh, 
Okay, I gotta go munch really quick before uh, we do some story reading as we're tonight, alright, you guys? So I'm gonna skedaddle. Uh, thank you guys for coming today. Thank you so much to all my regulars and irregulars and everyone who stopped by for the first time. Appreciate you guys giving me a chance. Thank you very much to all of the VOD watchers and VOD commenters and the chatters and the lurkers. And thank you so much to all my dream weavers and buckles and spiralings and everybody who uh, donated and joined the membership and renewed your memberships. Thank you very, very much. I will see you guys in a little bit for Azimar if you will be there, if that's something you're into. And if not, I will see you guys tomorrow for... Thursday. It's Thursday tomorrow. Master of Darkness! Yes! Oh my god, I forgot. Okay, yeah, I'll see you for uh, Master of Darkness tomorrow. Alright. Uh, thank you very much. Okay, so Mia. Oh, yes, Mia. Bye, mom.